these are called road signs or highway signs. Road signs or highway signs. Road signs are there to guide the road user, cyclists and the pedestrians. These road signs are there to guide them while they are on the highway or they are on the road. So road signs are classified into three classes. They are classified into three classes. We have class A, which is regulatory signs. So class A begins from stop sign all the way to control parking zone. Are we together? From stop sign all the way to control parking zone. That is class A and class A in the regulatory signs. Then you have class B, class B in the warning signs beginning from sharp bend to the left ahead to uncontrolled railway crossing ahead. Those are falling under class B, which is warning sign. Then you have class C. Class C is the informatory sign. Class C begins from here, from here to here. That is falling under class C, which is informatory signs. So class B, which is warning sign, they give information and warning. While class C, which is the informatory sign, they give information. Are we together class? Okay. So road signs are also further grouped into five major groups. They are grouped into five major groups. These five groups are, we have priority signs, class A has got three groups in it. Class A has got three groups in it, then class B one group of warning, then class C one group of informatory sign. So class the under class A, we have priority all major road signs, that is stop sign and giveaway sign. Stop sign or giveaway sign is the first group of the road signs, or they are called priority signs. They are normally they normally work together and they are normally applicable at a junction where they are supposed to stop and give priority unit. For example, when you want to join another road or you want to cross another road, <coughs> for your safety you will have to look for check whether the road is clear. By the time you are checking when the road is clear, you, you stop. Then when there is oncoming and overcoming traffic, you will give priority first. Because you have to wait for the road to be clear first, then you do what? You either cross or you join. So those are the major road signs, stop sign and give way sign are the major road signs. What is important here in road signs is to know the classes, the groups, characteristics and the keyword. And in case now we have very because whatever is grown inside is what you mention according to the class, according to the group, and according to the characteristics, and according to the key keyword. Then the second group in class A is called mandatory or compulsory signs. Mandatory or compulsory signs. They give orders which is a must, that you must do that. So, it be, they begin from uh, compulsory turn uh, left to compulsory end of speed limit for 30 km per hour. Are we together, class? So, they are circular in shape, Blue is color, and then they have white lining. There is something that is thrown inside. Whatever is thrown inside is what you say 
you mention according to the keyword. You say compulsory turn left, compulsory go straight, compulsory turn right, compulsory go straight or turn right, turn right. Then this one and this one and this one are tracks. Tracks are found along the road. Ni barabara mbayo, ni nji ambayo inaitengewa kando ya barabara. So they begin from here to here. This one is no entry, road closed, then we have control parking zone. That's where it ends. Control parking zone. Those are the prohibitory signs, the third group of the road signs. The fourth group is warning signs. This one are falling under warning signs. Warning signs are triangular in shape, red in color, and the apex is facing upwards. The apex in this part here, facing upwards. They give information and warning. Eh? Sinakwambia kwamba uko mbele kuna kitu lakini ni hatari pia. Kuna kitu uko mbele lakini ni hatari ni hatari pia. So they give warning at the same time they also give information information. The key word is ahead because you, normally you find the 50 meters to reach there. They they force you to slow down. And some of them you slow down and stop. We see the sign that will make you to stop and what you are supposed to do. So they begin from sharp end to the left ahead to uncontrolled railway station crossing ahead. So you have to say ahead because you meet it 50 minutes before you reach there, reach there. So we have signs that makes you to slow down and also to stop. For example, if you found this sign here standing here, there is a pedestrian crossing ahead. Pedestrian crossing ahead. The first thing, if you see that sign, you will have to slow down. Then if you reach pedestrian crossing area, you will have to stop and give priority for pedestrians. When you look at this one here, cycle crossing ahead, the same. We also have River bend crossing ahead. This one is river bend crossing ahead. River bend crossing ahead is this river bend is is caused by heavy rainfall. So when you are driving your vehicle and all of a sudden you meet that this sign, you have to slow down. Then if you there, you find that there is some water crossing the road. You have to stop. After stopping. You will get the hazard lights. Then you come out of your vehicle, you take a stick, because a stick is one of the tools you carry when going to a journey. You take a stick, you come out with that stick, you measure the depth of that water, then you come back and measure the depth of your tires. If the depth of the water is above your tires, wait. Goja ikungue, amu utakute njia ingine. Are we together? Yes. If it is below your tires, then it is safe you can't just cross. When you reach railway cross, and control the crossing ahead, maybe you are driving a vehicle at night, then all of a sudden you reach you, you come across this side, this test that's really crossing and controlled crossing ahead. You will have to slow down and stop. After stopping, you dim your light. Then you switch off the engine. Why do you dim light? Because train in a kuanga na mwangaza kubwa sana, ikuweka yako, now, Mangaza wa train, auta yon. 
na haja yako ni kuyoa na ili ukue sehemu si ndio eh una switch of the ili urusikie sauti you get the sound of the train coming because there's nothing it is not in control there's nothing there's no system that tells you that a train is about to pass or a train has just passed then you come out you check by yourself you check If there's no train coming then you go back to your vehicle and then you proceed to your journey your journey then finally we have informative signs or informatory signs they only give information so in informatory signs there are also some sub group inside the informative signs but get to know that we have five major groups of those signs don't include them into the five major groups of those signs although we have some sub groups we have advanced direction music falling under advanced advanced direction they normally they are found in cities okay Then we also have root confirmatory easy root confirmatory easy then we also have facility signs and this one facility signs okay they only give in information with you which you can either take or you can also either ignore why because if you are told that it's better for like this and tells that this is the same for some set around then it will not be because now the people have cell phone isn't it eh? you cannot go to the boot and make a call you simply check your cell phone and make a call make a call okay but some of them can can be of help to you like for example filling station around When you realize that your sweat has gone down and you have been told that there is a filling station around, you can go to the filling station and you fill your vehicle. Your vehicle. Motel or hotel around. Maybe you have, you have been in that journey for a long time, you are tired, you need somewhere to rest, you need somewhere to bed, you need somewhere to eat. You can go to a hotel or motel. Listen. The same to restaurant around, the same to the restaurant around. Maybe you want to get something like a, a drink, you go to a restaurant. So you have to be told that the restaurant, there is a restaurant around. You don't even ask anybody after seeing the this sign, you know that the restaurant is around. Then you also must be very careful about the signs that are closely related, other than a Caribbean. For example, we have this one and this one this one is a public footpath around and compulsory pedestrian track. These two signs they are like they can confuse it. This one is falling under mandatory signs. This is falling under informatory signs so this is compulsory pedestrian track this is pedestrian unaweza kwamba hawa wanatembea kwa barabara sababu hii njia iko kando ya barabara ya magari hii njia lakini hii njia haiko kwa barabara haiko kando ya barabara ya magari that's why i say this one is compulsory pedestrian track and this one is public food park public food park we also have we also have uh we also have this one and this one this one there's like this, this, this uh say bicycle or cycle is crossing ahead okay this one is no entry for bicycles and also this one this one is bicycles only 
it can be a stage of virus calls, it can be that area there is a frequent virus call. Okay, so you must know the difference between the signs that are, are looking alike or are confusing. You must know the difference. Then you also have this one. This one and this one, then this one and this one. This one, the road itself is bending to the to the left. So you are forced to bend, the road is now forcing you to bend. But this one, you have been commanded. That it is compulsory to turn left, turn left. This the road is bending, the road is bending to the, to the right. And this one you have been told to turn to the right. The road might not be bending to the right, but you are told to the right to turn to the, to the right. Then we also have uh, this one with the two sides. This successive bend to the left ahead, successive bends to the right ahead. The two signs means that this one, there is more than one bend, but the first one is to the left. There is more than one bend, but the first one is to the, to the right. Go together, class. Go together. So you must take that into consideration. This one is. Riverbend crossing, riverbend crossing ahead. Caused by, it is caused by heavy downpour. That's why it's called seasonal. During dry season, it's not there. It normally appears after the heavy rainfall. So when you look at there, you see that sign and driving, and uh, it is uh, after the rain. You slow down, then you stop. When you see there's water crossing the road, you stop. Then you come out of your vehicle. We, we, you must also remember that when you stop on the road, you have to engage the, the what? You have to engage the hazard light. Are we together? You will get the hazard light. Then you come out with a stick. You measure the depth of, the, of that water. Then you come back and mess up the depth of the tires. If it is below your tires, then it's safe. You can just cross. You can just cross. Then this one and this one and this one appears in the Caribbean. This one is sharpened to the right side ahead. Then when you are driving, you are forced to bend by the road itself. There is a bending by the road itself. But here, you are told there is no turning right. The road no, no, might not be bending, but you are told not to turn right, turn right. And this one, you are told that all vehicles must proceed right. Are we together class? Must proceed right. Then you also have, uh, I also want to explain uh, this one, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, those four sides. This one means no entries for vehicles exiting two meters width. Two meters, yani upana wa guy. No entry for vehicles exiting two meters width. This is no entry for vehicles exceeded two meters per half of them. This side and this side, they are always applicable at a road which is which was not constructed or made properly. Maybe it's a low volume road. This kind of vehicle, which is above five tons or exceeding five tons, when it passes through that road. It may cause damage to that road. Accent, Lila Chuma by Nanganisa, Gurudumuya, Magari, Kunamali, Katakatin Fura, 
Amy. That's the accident. So heavy. And Sabia Court has more than two. Sabia Court has five, six, or eight. Then we have this one. This one is not empty for vehicles exceeding 10 meters long. Kutoka kitu ya gari, paka mkia kwa gari. Kutoka kitu ya gari, paka mkia wa gari. This is traffic lights ahead. There is what they call traffic light sequence and traffic light series. There is series and there is sequence. Series, they how they are arranged and they are many. For example, when the traffic light shows red, it means you stop. When it shows amber, it means be prepared to go. Get ready to go. Get ready to go. When it is green, you may go when the road is clear, when the road is clear. I will take the class. But sequence is how they work. We have red, then red amber, then amber, then green. Then it goes back to red, then red amber, then amber. Very green. That is traffic lights uh, sequence. Series is how they are arranged and the meaning. Thank you, viewers. Make sure that you can like, subscribe, and then you share. Until next time, God bless you.